And we're wrapping up our look at DACA on Public Affairs on Peach. Today we have Robert Lee, Chairman of Georgia Young Republicans. Now, you've heard what our other guests have said. What do you have to say? What do you think of President Trump's orders? Well, I think in terms of the order giving a six-month window and encouraging Congress to act, it's the right thing to do uh, from the perspective of putting in place a permanent policy. Uh, the reality is, is that DACA was never meant to be a permanent policy, and it shows the uh, fragility of executive orders and essentially using executive orders to set large policy changes uh, on the American people and uh, Americans who are here expecting some sort of benefit from a program like that. Uh, six months allows Congress to do something well, and as a previous guest said, uh, it should get out of the Senate. Now it becomes important for us to engage the House and make sure that uh, a good policy passes that President Trump can sign. Now, President Trump said nothing to worry about for six months, but obviously when you throw something out there like that, you heard one of the guests say, this creates a lot of anxiety. Well, sure, but it... it that's the problem with temporary executive orders. There should have been anxiety about this policy from the moment that President Obama issued it five, six years ago. Uh, the reality is, is that when you can't have permanent change in government that goes through our constitutionally prescribed lawmaking cycles, everything is temporary, and that's a problem. Uh, I, I certainly feel from, from my heart for many of the beneficiaries of this program and the anxiety of, that they have, uh, but this is the time for Republicans and Democrats to come together and say, let's resolve this immigration problem and come up with a policy that's clear, consistent, fair, and effectively, uh, effectively enforced. Now, some Republicans, such as our very own Senator Johnny Isaacson, have said that the children should not be punished for what the parents did. What do you say to that argument? That why are we going to punish these kids who this is all they've ever known? Well, I, again, I, I don't think rescinding DACA as an executive order is a form of punishment. Uh, it simply puts the responsibility back on men like Johnny Isaacson and, and the men and women in Congress to be able to come up with a solution that reflects a permanent policy change. I agree with Johnny Isaacson's statement. Senator Isaacson said the right thing and, and shows, I think, the right uh, promise for a solution here. We need to get on board and we as citizens and, and DACA recipients and just Americans that yes. we're all common, you know, have a common idea about need to engage our leadership here. Well, you say that we're not punishing them, but in essence we are because they're the ones who are going to pay the price if they get kicked out of the country. Well, again, it's no different than it was before DACA was ever put in place by executive order. The situation and the anxiety is all the same from the perspective of there is no consistent, clear rules that are the same from administration to administration. That's not punishment. I agree with Senator Isaacson and many Republicans and many Democrats who say we need a permanent solution to a problem that was created uh, by a complex, convoluted, confusing system that, that people don't know how to navigate. Uh, I want a system that dreamers, American citizens, non-citizens, naturalized citizens, everybody who considers themselves an American can say, I understand what that is, I understand what that does, and I understand how to navigate it. Now, many people say it's just not in keeping with the American spirit, what America stands for. What do you say to them? I mean, that, that's a subjective opinion that we could debate all day. It doesn't help pa pass legislation. If we argue about who is more American here, we're never going to come to a solution that everybody can feel some, that they have ownership of and that they can have a sense of security about. Uh, I, again, I certainly, on an individual level, feel some compassion, but I want a solution that works. All right. Thank you so much. All right, and that'll do it for this week's edition of Public Affairs on Peach. We'll see you right back here next Saturday morning.